Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading. As always, take what, take what resonates, leave what does not. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, the links are down below. All right. So we have the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Five of Cups, and we have the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Hangman. Just a little. And then we have the Hermit. And then we have the World, the Tower, and releasing, letting go. Tower again, Tower's been coming out a lot for Capricorn. Bottom of the deck, we have death cards. So many changes coming through for Capricorn, and I absolutely love that because I feel like definitely if something's not working, like you want it to change, and sometimes sometimes we don't know how to make that change, but it's almost like the universe will change things for us. The universe will bring that, that change in for us, for us to see what it is that we need to do. Um... All right, so overall energy, we have the death card, Scorpio. What you're struggling with is we have the eight of pentacles. We have the, I think I'm just gonna bring this here. So what you're struggling with is we have the eight of pentacles and we have the five of cups and we have the, so again, I feel like I feel like a lot of Capricorns aren't happy with their financial situation because I feel like there there seems to be a lot of struggles with the finances or career or like the pentacles, the ace of pentacles. And this section here is the conflict or what you're struggling with. And I feel like there's, there's, I feel like maybe is there some old habits having to do with your work or money that you're having trouble with letting go of those habits um, it could be that maybe it's time to set a budget. Maybe it's time to set a budget and actually follow it. <laughs> I know I have a habit of setting, setting a budget, but I, you know, I follow it for a little bit and then I give up on it. Or maybe it's time to make some new investments, some time to make some new plans, or it's time to really find... I just feel like this is letting go of old habits that has to do with the Ace of Pentacles. Um, could be getting involved in drama at work. It could be always worrying about what the other person is doing or somebody else is doing or how they're doing their job. Or it could just be worrying about, um, you know, anything within your job, like, like a, like a, a bad habit that you have that is hindering you from really embracing what you have going on. Um, I just feel like there's a new way for you to look at things when it comes to this Ace of Pentacles. And I feel like that, that's what that is there is, is that you're struggling, you're struggling with that. So let me grab um, some more cards. Yeah, change. Change, which is related to the Five of Cups. And then we have the Ace of Cups and we have the Page of Cups. I feel it also could have to do a lot with how you perceive money and how you see money or how you feel about money or if you have this negative connotation towards money or also those same feelings towards your job. Like are you, maybe your current job situation is one that you don't enjoy, but it's one that that's your situation right now. And I just almost feel like it's changing your perspective of your job. Yeah, I mean, when I was working at as a cashier at the grocery store, I realized one day that um, it was all about my attitude. I wasn't happy, you know, some days it's great if the day goes by really quick 
and you're having a lot of fun and you're working with you know people that you enjoy and people that are coming through they're happy they're in a good mood you know or it's you know non-confrontational and there are days when it's like people are angry people are frustrated you're not working with the people that the crew that you like to work with and I was finding myself being more negative when I was at work and I realized I remember standing there one day and I said you know what I said this is all about me and this is my situation this is my job this is what I need to deal with right now and I have a choice I can be angry and I can be frustrated and I can just make this more miserable or I can say you know what this is my job this is what I have to do and I'm going to try and make the best of it and I know that sometimes that's hard to do and it was hard for me to do but when I realized this is a situation this is the current moment this is what I have to do until I can change it right until I can do something different or something changes in my life I have to accept that this is what's going on and once I did that I felt a sense of relief I felt this sense of okay because I put that to rest and I felt okay I'm going to try and make the best out of it for whatever that I can with this situation and it made it easier for me again setting myself up for success because if you're angry and you're frustrated and everything's irritating you, you're setting yourself up to put your, yourself in an environment where it's just not going to be something very positive for you. But if you say, you know what, I'm going to look out for myself. I'm going to look at how I'm perceiving this. I'm going to look at the, the state of the situation right at this moment. And how can I change that, right? I can. What can I change? I can change my outlook. I can change how I feel about it. And to remember that, that if I want change, right, that if you want change and if this is not the career or job or situation that you want to be in, how can you change that? What are those things that you can, can change? And being frustrated by it every day is not going to change it. It's just going to make it harder. So what are the things that you can do to change it to make it better? Immediately, it's about your perception and how your attitude and your emotions can change. And then when you have a chance, right, you can dive a little deeper. So this is what you need to focus on. We have the Knight of, pa my Knight of Pentacles, we have the Hangman, and we have the Hermit. So when you have a chance, when you have that time to yourself, block that time out and say, okay, I'm not really hurt, happy with this situation. How can I, how can I change this, right? What are those things that I can do to look within myself and to see things from a different perspective and say, okay, if I'm not happy with this situation, what would I be happy with, right? If it's another job, okay, what type of job is it? And, you know, do you have those skills and can you get your resume together and can you put your resume out or see what's available or start your own business or, you know, start doing that budget or whatever those things are that you can do. Take that time and say, okay, I need to make an effort to see how I can fix the situation if the situation is not something that I want to stick with and that is not making me happy. You have to step up to the plate and I feel like that sometimes that's the hardest thing is to actually take the actions to step up to the plate to change things. And sometimes it just seems so much easier. Well, it is what it is, and I'm just going to be miserable and angry, you know, the rest of my life. And that's fine if that's, you know, how you want to do that. But if you want that change, then you have to step up to the plate and you have to say, okay, what can I change? What can I do? How can I change it? How do I get my mindset, right? You have to, you have to change that mindset to, okay, if I want change, I have to be changed. Right, release those burdens. We have the Ten of Wands again, right? And I feel like here is what you need to focus on, current energy. It's like, how do I release these burdens? How do I look at things differently, right? How do I, the Ace of Swords is, is what new ideas, what new ways, even if it's just brainstorming, right? You just write down a whole bunch of crazy different things and you just 
whatever comes to mind and then you can sort through things later and just just say the, the the craziest things right or or anything that's on the top of your mind and just say okay how about if I this or how about if I that or I do this and look at all of your different options that you have and look at that we have the death card yet again so again looking at how do you, if you how do you put to an end this feeling of of this over here is it you know, just sort of accepting and, and going in and, and having, you know, a better outlook on it? Or is it, do I really want change? And what is that change? And how do I make that change? And I feel like over here in this future energies is you figure it out. Like you're, you're in this energy right now where you're like, you're, you're making the effort to really explore everything. And there's no time frame on this. It's however long that it, it takes for you. But over here, this energy that comes in is you feel this sense of relief, right? That you're finally able to let that go. And that tower is a good thing because it's like, okay, I want to change. And I actually took the steps to make change. And just patting yourself on the back for saying, okay, I actually made change. We have the Eight of Wands, and then we have the King of Cups, and then we have the Knight of Swords. It's almost like you're able to let go of this over here, and then you're able to like move forward, like getting excited to move forward, because you're like, wow, I'm so proud of myself that I let go of change. And that's what I'm saying about the towers. I just feel like, you know, Capricorn is more into, okay, I'm, I'm not happy, and I don't want to accept this anymore, and how can I change it? bottom of the deck we have the strength card and I feel like and then we have the infinity sign which is individual empowerment and I feel like it takes a strong person to make big changes it takes a strong person to walk away from something or to change something that they're used to it takes a strong person to really look within themselves and say okay it you know how can I change how I feel about this how can I set myself up for success so this is a win-win situation for me so that I am I I'm recognizing I'm not happy I'm recognizing that there's a problem I'm recognizing that I have to find a solution and I'm actually taking the actions to make it happen I'm actually doing the things that I said I'm going to do and it's like it's it's almost like you know it's like we put people to high standards and we say okay you know, I'm gonna see if your words are following your actions, right? Like we expect that from other people. We want their words to follow their actions. And do we hold ourselves accountable for that same thing, right? What words are you saying and are your actions following the words that you're saying are you over here always saying well I don't like this and I want to change it and I want to do something different and blah 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 but you never change it and you always keep going back to the same situation and you keep being miserable or are your actions going to follow it and you're going to say over here okay I've said it for the last time I don't like this situation I know I need to let go of it I know it needs to change I figured out what it is I need to do and now I'm doing it I just feel like sometimes I feel like the tarot is like really taking a hard look at yourself and kind of bringing up those things and saying, well, you know, are my actions following my words? Am I following through? Right. Uh, it, 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 sometimes it seems easier to be able to give somebody else advice and say, well, you should do this and you shouldn't do that and blah, blah, blah. But then it's like, well, what about for ourselves? And sometimes, sometimes I do that when I'm in situations and I, and I think, okay, if I'm in my own situation and I'm trying to figure out things for myself and I say, well, if I was a different person, what would I tell, what would I tell myself? What, how would I tell that person if the, that person was having the same things going on that I was had going on, what would I tell that person to do? And then it's almost like being able to give advice to yourself. All right, let's grab an animal oracle. Sometimes we have to think about those things. You know, what are our own actions? All right, we have whale spirit. Trust the great mystery. Trust all of those signs that come in. Trust that, you know, it's, it's gotten to a point where, okay, I'm ready for change. 
and trusting the changes that are coming in so that it is something that really brings to light. And like I said, it's not only the fact that you are making change, but it's the fact of being proud of yourself for not accepting a situation that wasn't making you happy, that wasn't making you feel good. And I feel like that's the biggest thing is, is to recognize yourself for those actions that you took. All right, let's grab a fortune reading card. You haven't done my devil. Take care immediately to avoid temptation and deceit. I also feel, I, I feel like this is good because I feel like it represents, sometimes we like to sabotage ourselves and we start to make progress and then we fall back into old habits because we're like, oh, that just seems so much easier. And I feel like also the relationships are, are th that we've built over here where we're feeling down and we're feeling miserable that when you start to change and you end those that it's like a new group of people that you are going to surround yourself but the old group may try to pull you back in and I just feel like don't be fooled by negative energy or old habits or the subconscious trying to pull you back in and that temptation to be like oh I just want to go back right because if you feel that this is a change that is you know especially with these two death cards and it, it take like I said it takes a strong person to because you're going to it's going to feel awkward it's going to feel different you know when you're making these changes right with this tower here it's going to feel scary it's going to feel different it's going to feel weird but it's like it's it's that personal growth and it's those changes and the old self wants to go back. Well, I, I felt so much more comfortable when I was sad and when I was miserable and I was frustrated and I was irritated and I was complaining about everything and not doing anything. And it's going to feel different. So I feel like this is sort of just that saying as be careful that you don't, you don't fall back. And sometimes it does happen. Sometimes it'll happen for a day or two or a week or whatever. But then it's like we realize, oh, okay, like this is not where I want to be. This is not how I want it to be. This is not how I want to feel. That I felt so good when I was making that progress and I don't want to set myself back. And sometimes we have those step back. And it's almost like to realize this is where I don't want to be. And I know where I do want to be. You know, it's, it's not necessarily knowing what you do want, but it's knowing what you don't want. That that can be some answers. All right, you never know unless you try. I'm gonna grab a Witch Casket Empowerment card here for this reading. Let's close it out. We have the magic of dance. Dancing grounds you, raises your vibrations, gives you energy and empowers you. So take a little time to put on your favorite music and dance. How cool is that? I love dancing. I love dancing. Music, if I could only have one thing in my life, if it could, if I could only have TV or I could have music, I would much rather have dan uh, music. I love music. I mean, it, it helps my moods. It, it can motivate you. It can relax you. It can energize you. It can calm you. It can do so many different things. And you know what? Just taking that that moment to just be silly and have some fun and not think about anything but just dance to a song right having that mental break just for a moment and to refocus yourself all right thank you so much for watching as always stay positive stay safe and i will see you next time